Now I'm going to show you how to perform a blood glucose test. There's lots of different meters on the market. Um, they mostly follow the same principle, but for the purpose of today, I'm going to demonstrate using a nanometer and a fast clicks finger pricker. There's a few things that we need to do first of all to prepare. So we need to load a new drum, which has got the lancets in, um, which will prick the finger. Just take the cap off and place the drum into the pen. You can only put it in one way and you'll just hear a click as it goes into place and pop the cap back on. You'll notice here that there's a number six in the window and this corresponds to how many new lancets there are remaining in the drum. So we've just put this drum in so there's six. And you'll notice that there's some more numbers at the bottom of the pen um, and this corresponds to the depth at which the lancet pricks the finger. One being the shallowest and number five being the deepest. It's very much dependent on each individual child, how long they've been pricking their fingers for and how thick the skin is on the ends of their fingers. So thinking about where we're going to prick, um, we try to avoid the pincer fingers, we preserve these for fine motor skills, that leaves us with three fingers um, that we can use. And as far as possible, we try to avoid the pads of the fingers because there's lots of fine nerve endings. Um, and so we try to prick around the sides. Obviously, if the child is very small, it doesn't leave you with much space. So don't worry too much. Just do the best job that you can. So when we're getting ready to do a finger prick, you need to wash the child's hands, making sure that their hands are nice and clean because if there's any residue on their fingers from food they may have eaten earlier on, this will affect the blood glucose result and so consequently this will affect any action that we take. So when you're out and about, that can be quite tricky. You're not always going to find a sink nearby. Um, so you can ask your GP to prescribe neutral wipes um, just to clean the particular finger. We don't want to use wipes that have got alcohol on or perfume on, just plain neutral wipes. So once you're happy that the finger's clean, you're going to place a strip into the bottom of the meter. Most strips have got a metallic end and that's the end that goes into the blood glucose meter. And that will just turn the meter on. You can see there that there's a picture of the strip and a drop of blood. So that's suggesting that you now need to put some blood onto the strip. So just place that to one side and get ready to prick the finger. So picking up the pricker, make sure that you've got it at the required depth and advancing the lancet onto the next one. You can now see that we've got five. Placing the hole on the part of the finger that you want to prick and just pressing the top. And milking the finger from the bottom to the top being sure not to squeeze too aggressively. And when you've got a big enough drop of blood at the end of the finger, just pick up your meter, place that drop of blood at the end of the strip. And you see that the blood just automatically drew into the strip. And there you've got your result. Just remember to dispose of the strip properly because it has got blood at the end. And just put that in the sharps bin. So just thinking about keeping your meter in good working order, make sure that once a month you use control solution, which you can get from the company um, and the instructions will come with it. Um, and always making sure that you keep your fingers clean.